Hi, welcome back to our family-friendly channel. Right. Family-friendly channel. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> so today, <clears throat> you might be wondering why I'm wearing this ridiculous hat, and Ray is... I thought we... Dressed up. When you said the night episode, I thought you meant night clubbing. Oh. Oh. I mean, in the... Family-friendly. But there are under-21 clubs that's, that are chased. That's true. Well, unfortunately, we're not talking about night clubbing today. We're actually talking about things that happen at night. Like, ooh, like raccoon attacks. Yes. A and, um, um, that just made me think of, like, paranormal Nick activity. Night but, uh, Nick at night television also happens at night. Um, homework? You do your homework at night? Often. Shouldn't you be doing that during the daytime, though? <laughs> no. Teachers, if you're watching this. You're not. Just turn it off. <laughs> You shouldn't be, because this is not a teacher-friendly channel. This is a family-friendly channel. We know no teachers have families. So actually, what we were planning on talking about today was dreams, funny enough. Ooh. Dreams are something that I think everybody has in common. Have you ever met someone who said they didn't dream at all? Yes. You did? Yes. Really? Yep. I wonder what that must be like. That must be... Sad. About have you, dreams. Have you ever had a dream? I've had lots Wait, of dreams. Are we talking about like physical, like sleep at time dream, or like right. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin this Luther King Jr. Day is, is or in this vicinity of the calendar. Vicinity of calendarness. Um. So is, that's why you asked about whether I had a dream like yes. that, or well, I mean, I have I dreams had like a that. Dream that my children could go to school with all the other children. Who go to school. Ray, you don't have children. Ah! Didn't I tell you about Tiny Tim? You have a child named Tiny Tim? Or is Tiny Tim one of your ducks? Oh, is it time to meet a duck? I've got this one. This one is Albert, the construction worker. He doesn't squeak very well. He makes this noise, though. He farts. Oh, wait. Are we allowed to say fart on a family-friendly channel? I hope so, because you just did. Oh. <laughs> you That's... could just say flatulate. <laughs> you know, that reminds me. I actually did have a dream the other day about flatulation. <laughs> oh, please do tell. Well, I'll instead of telling you, maybe I will show you. I'm going to uh, step out for a minute. Son. Get some <laughs> I didn't mean I'll show you right now. <laughs> I meant, okay, just just watch this. Best dream ever, right? Mm hmm Have you ever had a dream that was better than that one? Mm hmm It was really funny, at least. At least I found it funny. I woke up laughing. I think. Can't remember. That, that wasn't awkward for your roommate? It may or may not have been. We will. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Um, cool. I had a dream recently. Yeah? What was it about? I had a baby. Congratulations! You have a... Why do all of your dreams involve children? Or having children? Ray, could you please explain, yes, by the way, why you're wearing that dress? It's a very pretty dress to be wearing for well, bedtime. Well, it's because I had this dream, see? Like, a dream like Martin Luther King Jr. dream? Or a dream like Sleepy Time dream? Actually, both at the same time. Oh. Because you see, kids, dreams can come true. Especially when you dream about them. Oh, dear God. You started working for Disney. No, see, I wasn't smiling when I said that. Oh, They have just perpetual kidding. smiles. I'm it's... close, though. I could, like, intern. Except for Jafar. <laughs> Jafar doesn't have a petrol, perpetual Jafar. smile. Oh. I mean, no. That would be weird and Not family-friendly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had this dream, you see, children. All my life growing up, all I wanted to do was be an actor in the 50s. So then I had a dream, and in this dream, my lips got bright red, my hair got blonde. It was already blonde. 
and <laughs> curly. It was already curly. And all of a sudden I was Marilyn Monroe. Only Chaster. Is Chaster a word? <laughs> yeah. No. And then the next day I woke up and I got an email from one of my awesome friends and she's like, hey, want to play Marilyn Monroe in this th acting gig? And I was like, yes. In fact, I had just had a vision, but it was really just a dream, about it. So both Martin Luther King and my subconscious were proud of me. Very nice. And Martin Luther King's son, Martin Luther King Jr., who oh. I was actually meant to say. <laughs> so I decided to present you with a little bit of Marilyn here tonight. Well, you are doing a very good job. Thank you. Now, Marilyn also kind of looks a little bit like something Minnie Mouse would wear, though. Which brings me well, back to the whole idea of you working for Disney. Yes. See, after I did such a great job as Marilyn Monroe, Walt Disney himself showed up. And he offered me a full scholarship to his college. But then I woke up from the dream. I was going to say and that you were definitely <laughs> dreaming. <laughs> and um, Minnie Mouse is my inspiration, a la Jessica Myers, because she plays an awesome Minnie Mouse. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we'll have to have her on the show one of these days, like, and yes. she can do that for us. What's the first dream you could ever remember having? Oh, gosh. I had this creepy, creepy nightmare that someone from the Bible was going to come into my house and try to attack me with the leg of one of the chairs in our dining room. <laughs> it was a pretty scary nightmare. And it was because, and my mom will attest to this, she used to come in every night and sing me this really creepy song. And since I am too scared to talk about it, here's a reenactment. Go to sleep, little creep. Close your big butt no wonder you were terrified. Yeah. The first dream I ever remember having was in first grade. And it was me and a bunch of my classmates, and we were like running around in this courtyard. Mm -hmm. Or should we reenact this one too? I think we should. Here's a reenactment. <laughs> Awesome. I liked how the ducks were the little precious moments dolls. I love how your dreams were so fun and exciting and mine was really scary. I mean, it was kind of terrifying for me at the time. But looking back at it... It was fun to watch. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so what do you do if you can't get to sleep at night? Um, If I can't get to sleep at night, <laughs> I usually text people, which is... Really funny because so have you ever keep been everybody that everybody else up in the world? <laughs> exactly. Have you ever been that person at night? You're laying in bed and suddenly. <laughs> Ooh, I that. You know you've been there before, but that's me. <laughs> You're one of those people. <laughs> I am one of those people, but thankfully, a lot of my friends live in other time zones, so I've worked it out so that I know who I can text at what time and who I can't. 
What do you do if you can't fall asleep? Well, run, ducky. That's me. Okay, I'll, I'll try not to, I suppose. I mean, if you won't judge me for texting people. I mean, too late. Well, then I'm definitely judging you for that. Whatever, you would do the same thing. I suppose. In that situation. Um, <laughs> I'm really concerned now. You guys want to see Dan's face turn red? Look, red. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you can totally see it. Am I dreaming? Yep. 